What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lewis and on today's video we are going to be reviewing the all new Columbia 300 Super Cuda Power Core. Before we get into any of that, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe. It goes a long way to helping this channel grow. Uh, if you want to order the ball in this video or the ball spinner, please go uh, to the link down below in the description or you can go to Coolwix website and use promo code NAPOLIS10 that gets you 10% off your entire order. It's a great way to help support the channel. All right, so this is going to be only my second or third Columbia 300 ball ever. You guys know how I felt about the last one. I'm hoping that this one is going to be different and I think it will be because of one big thing, and that is going to be the core. I think that these kind of core numbers I really match up with. It's a strong, symmetrical core. It's the CUDA Power Core, which in 15 pounds is an RG of 2.50 and a max differential of 0.047. So those are very benchmark type of numbers. That RG is a little bit higher than the low RG ball, so it's kind of like right in the middle. Differential, again, right in the middle. Those kind of balls I typically end up loving but as we all know, the core doesn't touch the lane, the cover does. So let's talk a little bit about the cover and why I think that this ball has a chance to be pretty good. It's the Formula One hybrid cover stock that comes out of box at a 2000 finish. So this is a very medium type of ball with that RG and the differential being those medium type numbers. The cover stock is a hybrid cover stock that comes out of box at 2000 which is a very benchmark type of surface to add to a bowling ball. You guys know that when a ball's a little bit too clean and I want to bring that uh, reaction a little bit closer to me, I always hit it with a 2000 finish. So that's exactly what this ball comes with out of box. So I'm hoping that this can be that really go-to type benchmark ball. We're gonna be here on lane 46 on a fresh, typical house shot. Question for you guys. Have you guys ever thrown any of the CUDA series bowling balls? There's, they've been out for a long time. They just started making them back up pretty recently. But let me know. We didn't talk about the layout. It's my typical uh, symmetric ball tester layout being 30 by 4.5 by 30. We'll see you on the lanes here. All right, so this is going to be the first shot of the video here. This ball has literally never gone down the lane. First shot ever with this CUDA power core, super CUDA power core. We're going to take a guess. We're going to start at like 27, 28, which is about typical for me here. And off to the races. Oh, that is slow and chuggy. And I think that I'm going to move right and I'm going to love this ball. Let me, try, let me move right. All right, let's move right a little bit. We're going to go to about 25. Keep this a little bit in front of us. And if it does what it did last shot, this is going to be 10 back. Oh, and then it puked. Huh. Let's reset the rack and throw another one from there because that was weird. Okay, so I, I rewatched that shot and I missed in for sure. So let's make sure that we get it going right a little bit and then throw a good shot. There we go. Very, very smooth. Not a lot of change of direction in this ball. This is a very smooth bowling ball. My question for these symmetric balls like this is how long before it lane shines? Because once it lane shines, it's going to turn into a completely different bowling ball. Yeah, but I just looked at that last shot. I missed in again. Let's really make sure we get this one going into the friction here. There we go. That's where I want it. There we go. That, you know, I 10 pinned, but that was arguably a much better shot than the last two. So let's uh, keep building on that right there. All right, let's move one left off that 10 pin. See if we can't kick that out here. Oh, I finally got that right. So it needs friction for sure. Very, very smooth ball. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of something. I just can't. I hope it comes to me because I'm thinking of a ball motion. I just can't figure it out. Let me know in the comments. What does this ball remind you of? Yeah, I swear I'm thinking of a bowling ball. I can't. Chris, what does this motion remind you of? Watch this shot. I'm thinking of a ball and I can't put my mind to it. What does that remind you of? 
No. He's saying phase two, but no. I don't think it's that. I think phase two shapes more. Think of um, Rattler Big Bite, but a little bit stronger. That's what it reminds me of. This is gonna be one of those uh, balls where friction is gonna be your absolute best friend. I thought I threw that pretty good. Maybe a little fast. I'm struggling right now with this. Yeah, this is one of those bowling balls where it doesn't suck. It just doesn't match my game. Like, I, I imagine that if I was a lefty who loved playing fast and near the friction, that I would love this ball. But the reality is that I'm a righty who likes to play in, who kind of spins the ball. And that's okay. I don't believe that there's any th such thing as a bad bowling ball, just bowling balls that don't match your game. And that's okay for me to say that this ball just doesn't match my game. It doesn't mean it's a bad ball. Just for me and my style, it's not one that I think I'm gonna love. All right, let's move in, kind of slow hook it and see if maybe my opinion here can change. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, Chris shaking his head, yeah. Very smooth. Let's move way right now and see. All right, let's move right, like right, right. I'm going to stand at 20, kind of fire this up the lane and see, see what this looks like. Uh, maybe that was a little too fast. Chris, yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna show that to the camera. Uh, but when I moved left and slow hooked it, it didn't look terrible. So let's try that again, but keep our target in a little bit. All right, last shot of the video here, I think. I don't, I don't wanna throw this anymore. So we're gonna move left, slow hook it, keep our target in, and see what this looks like. There we go. Okay, is this ball bad? No, there's no such thing as a bad bowling ball. But like I said earlier, I don't think it matches my game all that well. I think that if you were a higher ball speed player um, or a rev dominant player, one or the other, I think that if you're a little bit more balanced, it may not be a great option. I think that if I change the surface, it might be better for me and I might do that in another video, kind of hit it with like a three or 4,000 and maybe go to it as a go-to type ball. But as is, it would be a first ball out the bag. I think that if I, if you ask me, Lewis, when are you gonna throw this ball? I would say on the fresh, but I need friction. For sure, for sure, for sure, need friction. Guys, we will see you on the next video.